I don't care if she is on braid number three or braid number 52. Get up out that chair. Bye. And find a different stylist who can do your hair without you losing your edges. Okay. going on welcome to the curly chemistry video i'm so glad you are here if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel today we are talking about our edges and the science of our edges the biology the chemistry of our edges why they are so fragile and of course we're going to share how to regrow them with the ultimate edge growth routine okay you guys are always no time let's go ahead and get started okay so when it comes to the biology and a little bit of the chemistry of our edges it really starts with looking at the basic anatomy of the hair strand. So you have the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla. I want us to focus more so on the cuticle. So the cuticle is like shingles on a roof. It's basically layers of keratin. So the thicker the layer of that cuticle, the more protecting and more integrity and strength that it has. Versus if that cuticle layer is a little more thinner, you have less protection. And that's exactly what's going on when it comes to our edges in this region of our hair. The cuticle layers are thinner compared to other parts of our hair. On top of that, in this region of our hair, AKA the edges, you have fewer amounts of sebaceous glands. And when there is a lack of sebaceous glands, that pretty much means lack of moisture retention. And with a lack of moisture retention, you're gonna get dryness and breakage. So automatically our edges are low key, naturally very fragile. So that's what's going on kind of behind the scenes. But now let's talk about how to reverse that and how to regrow your edges. Okay, so let's focus on the internal process of regrowing our edges. So it's really gonna come down to blood flow and nutrients. As you guys know, when there's a lack of blood flow, that means a lack of oxygen, which then means a lack of hair growth. The second thing I wanna say is your nutrients. So you know how I always talk about iron and vitamin D, but those are gonna be some very key nutrients for regrowing your edges because iron and vitamin D are responsible for follicle oxygenation, meaning responsible for oxygen actually getting to the follicle to actually help your hair to thrive, to be healthy and to grow. And then the next thing I wanna say is omega-3 and zinc actually helps to strengthen the follicle. So once again, our edges naturally have a thin cuticle layer. So adding that added protection, that added strength from omega-3 and zinc is gonna help tremendously with prevention, but also regrowing your edges as well. Okay, so we just talked about the internal way of regrowing your edges. Now let's talk more about external, what you can do physically to regrow your edges. The first thing is gonna be the most like really the biggest thing is watching how you style your hair. If you do get braids, you know, or passion twists or whatever for your hair, make sure the stylist is not pulling at your scalp, pulling at your edges. I don't care if she is on braid number three or braid number 52, get up out that chair. Bye. and find a different stylist who can do your hair without you losing your edges, okay? So be mindful of your styling. The second thing I wanna say is you want to frequently wash your hair because a lot of times if you do have product buildup from gels or edge control or products, that's going to clog the follicles of your edge regions. And that's going to, of course, delay hair growth and in some cases cause inflammation and scalp infection as well. So cleansing your hair with a hydrating shampoo once a week or once every other week will be ideal. Third thing I will say is incorporate daily scalp massages or even using a derma roller. This is a great way to produce that blood flow I was just talking about earlier. So you wanna do that scalp stimulation. That can be your fingers, it can be like I said, the derma roller, whatever you wanna go with. But getting that blood flow stimulated to the follicle is going to be key for regrowing your edges and of course prevention as well. Even with the massages, I wouldn't stop there. You can use some really amazing unique oils like black seed oil, percoxy oil, or even pumpkin seed oil. These oils are packed with vitamins and nutrients designed to restore the edges. Add a few drops of peppermint, rosemary, or even like thyme or eucalyptus oil to help stimulate that blood flow even more. And for extra TLC, I would even consider using a water-based scalp serum to hydrate the edge region because once again, it can be dry. And I would look for products that have niacinamide in it, ceramides, or even um, hyaluronic acid. So you're getting that deep hydration for your edges, but also strengthening that barrier as well. So all that being said, let's talk about the ultimate edge growth routine. So number one, 
Washing your hair frequently is going to be key because once again, you don't want no buildup in this region because you just don't want it. You don't want no clog follicles. That's going to, of course, disrupt your hair growth cycle. So cleansing your hair, hydrating shampoo once a week or once every two weeks. The second step I would say is once again, consider using a water-based serum to hydrate this area in between your wash days and even strengthen the barrier of your scalp to help reduce breakage. Step Three, incorporating daily edge massages with an oil mixed with an essential oil to once again get that blood flow going in between your wash days. Step four is going to be reduce excessive tension or friction in this area. And there's, let me say this, there's nothing wrong with using scars or bonnets. Just make sure they're not on your head, your edges too tight. You know, you want to be comfortable, not too tight. And of course, be mindful of your braids, your twists, and all your styles, especially when it comes to the edge region. The five, of course, is going to be monitor your iron, your vitamin D levels. Make sure you're getting some omega-3s and your zinc in to help to regrow your edges from the inside out. All right, pro friends, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like this video and to stay noted for more curly chemistry content. Hit that subscribe button for the next curly chemistry video. And of course, I do have a question for you. What is one hair growth tip or method that actually worked for you or did not work for you? Whatever it is, comment below and I cannot wait to see your responses. And of course, for all things curly chemistry, the hydrating herbal hair tea rinse, which is amazing for your wash day to help support hair growth and reduce excessive shedding, especially hair growth along the edges because it has amazing antioxidants in it to help reduce inflammation. And of course, you can use it in between your wash day as a hydrating spritz for your hair. Definitely check that out. The link will be below. Of course, for curly chemistry ebooks like the Hair Growth Strategy for Black Women, that is my new ebook so excited about it for those who already got it thank you so much for those who have not got it yet girl or guy what are you waiting for like i have so many amazing strategies in here for growing your hair science-based research strategies clinical back strategies for growing your hair including the healthy hair care diet okay all the information will be below in the links below in the description box and of course if you want to sign up for one-on-one -on -one hair care coaching video call with your girl i would love to connect with you i'll post a link below for you as well and if you are a aspiring entrepreneur who wants like your own hair care line i will also love to connect with you as well all right i love you guys so much and i will talk to you guys soon bye